Hey guys, Bruno here from Flytech. We're here at IT Expo 2025 with Ubiquity, with Andrew from Ubiquity. And today we want to talk about the latest and greatest from Ubiquity, which is the Superlink. Andrew, we got the Superlink gateway here. Can you tell us a little bit about what's going on with this new Superlink stuff? Yeah, so this is exciting. So some of you may be familiar with our UP Sense sensor here. This is a, a Protect All-in-One sensor. It does a lot of different stuff. It does motion detection, uh, temperature and humidity sensing, ambient light, door sensor, so on. Now, this, this uh, sensor used to connect only to our U6 access points. Got it. So, uh, you know, we've, we, w the problem is that if you have a U7 access point, it doesn't have the BLE radio on it that connects to these sensors. Okay. So people are wondering, you know, are we going to keep providing support for these sensors? Yeah, we are, and it's going to be on the Superlink platform. What's cool is this has the BLE to connect these these UP sense sensors, but also we have a whole platform of sensors coming. Okay. It's going to do a lot of specialized, like, uh, sensory function that's going to be able to do things, you know, like basically round out your uh, sensors in your business to be able to give alarming on different events and things that could happen. Okay. So right now it's just the bridge that, that BLE support, but long term we'll see it as a whole new platform. Okay. With uh, be able to do things that we can't do currently. So we're, we're going to have like the, the water leak sensors, the smoke detector. I'm going to see yeah, a lot. That's of right. Yeah. We just, that. we just published a video about this. If you check out a promotional video, we show some of the, yeah, the uh, sensors that are coming to the, okay. that are coming in the near future. So I'm really excited about the platform. I think you'll see it evolve a lot too once we have all these different sensors. A lot of businesses want that specialized sensor. Okay. They can deploy in different places. Uh, but of course, for right now, it's going to be really helpful in connecting these uh, UP sensors. So essentially, and then the other sensors. So if you have, if I'm understanding correctly, if you have a U6, any other U6s has BLE or only a few? Uh, the, some of the U, U6, uh, not all of them as far as I know. Yeah. So, okay. So only some of them do, but the U7 does not. But now you can just use this in any case. The gateway. Yeah, it does up to seven UP Sense uh, devices over BLE. Okay. Uh, and then also you'll see it when we have those new client, those new uh, devices. Okay. It can handle 96 Superlink clients. So okay, kind of cool. It's going to scale out really well. Yeah. Uh, but offers offer that it also offers that interim solution for the. So, so the new Superlink sensors that are coming out will only work with the gateway, not with the BLE, or also what? the BLE. As far as I know, only going to be work the Superlink. Only with that with the, with the platform. Got it. Got it. So that's. This is kind of the intro into the Superlink world, and then the sensors are going to come out and mm -hmm. you know, all connect. Yeah, yeah. I think we'll definitely see more interest in this when there's more sensors available, right? Got it. Awesome. It's exciting now as a stopgap solution for this UP sense. Device. Right on. Okay. Awesome. This is great info. Super excited for this new Superlink stuff. Sure. I appreciate you taking the time to show us. Yeah, thanks, bro. So, sure. Sounds good. See you guys.